Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the young lady I was trying to help now wants it kind of conform to this shape like an envelope tool, more so like the uh, logo. So I'm just going to put a two point line from there to there, which is creating a well. I am going to change my nudge factor to one inch and I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to nudge it over. Then I'm going to left click, no fill, right click outline. But I don't want to conform to the whole shape. I'll go ahead and take away my line now. I'm going to grab this, go up to Effects and Contour. I'm going to contour to the inside 0 0.01. That gives me a little bit of border. Then I'm going to go to Object, Break Contour Apart. I'm grabbing the center one, and I'm going to nudge it up. Nudging instead of... Um, moving so that way we can put it right back. So now I'm going to take this word dirty. I'm going to close this docker. I'm going to go up to effects in envelope with your word selected. I'm going to go here and not all words work. That's not too bad. But now what we can do is shift select that and then hit E and C and it's going to put it in the center. I don't particularly like that. So what I would suggest to do would be able to maybe take away some of this con, uh, con uh, shape right here, maybe take a two-point line and just kind of do a little bit of that and then do the same angle. I'm going to hit the plus key. I'm going to mirror it on the other, other direction. I'm going to try to get it close to the other one. That's close enough for the video. Take my Smart Fill tool and fill that shape in now. I nudged it up an inch. I am going to left click, no fill, right click outline. Now I'm going to take the word dirty. We can move it so it'll just be closer. And different fonts act differently. So I'm going to go right here to envelope shape. And you can see that's quite a bit better. And then if I shift select the box and go EC, it put it right in there. And then I can take just the word and I can nudge it down a couple of times. And not too bad. Uh, different fonts act differently. Then I would actually change my nudge factor point zero zero one, And then that way you could maybe nudge this down just a little bit. Maybe make it look a little bit better. And I could have made the box bigger. Let's just do that. Let's back up here. I nudged it quite a bit minutely, so we'll have to... It'd almost be easier to just delete it and then type out the word again. And I would try different fonts. Uh, some fonts look better than others. But this time we're going to do it. We're actually going to make a whole shape. So we're going to take the two-point line and go straight down there, straight down there, and then fill that in. Well, let's go ahead and do our, let's tell you what, let's just cut out that corner. Let me back up here, take the two-point line, and just go from there straight up. And then just go from there straight up. I should have gone all the way to the bottom. You can go past. You know, I don't like that. I need to really start. I think it'd be better to start in a spot that you want to go. And see, being off that, it might even help. Um, what I should have done is started holding down the control button so it's perpendicular and then get about the same spot over here and that's going to stop it from leaking and then we're going to take the contour tool and fill that in so now let's nudge that up don't forget to change your nudge factor let's just change it now to a half of an inch and let's nudge it up nudge it over a couple of times and then I'm going to left click right click I'm going to contour it Go up to Effects, Contour, same thing. Break Contour Apart, go up to Object, Break Contour Apart. Grab our new contour, take the word dirty, get a little bit closer, create a new form, put the arrow inside. And you can play around. Let me zoom in here, let me back up. There's a, there's a couple of settings you can set. 
on the contour, you can putty or vertical. Let's try vertical. That looks pretty good. And then shift select this box second and then go EC, put it in there. Let's try to grab just our word. We didn't get it, but now we got the word. And go down one more time. Different fonts are gonna look differently, so I would just try a few fonts, that's just Arial. Uh, I would do the same thing on the other side, or on the bottom, and it's a little bit, I would do exactly the same, maybe cut it off, because the word, you don't want the word going up in there. Almost in this case, it'd almost be better to um, take a box and go like this. We do want that bottom, and then just use that for your shape. Let's see how that looks. She's gonna use a different name, I'm using mine. I'm gonna left click, right click, open back up the contour docker, contour to the inside, that amount, go up to object, break contour apart, move that over, and then take the word Doug, or the name, and we'll use vertical again. Not too bad. And you can always play around with the envelope tool afterwards. So shift select and then go EC or CE. Doesn't really matter which one you pick first. And then try to grab the name and nudge it over. I'd go ahead and get rid of my rectangle first. And then take the Doug and move it over. And I would try different fonts. See, so yeah, it kind of squishes the G and the D, um, but it's still in an envelope form. So you can always grab your envelope tool and change some things, you know, like move this D up a little. You gotta be careful what you're doing. Yeah, it's pretty much set, but that doesn't look too bad. And there's a bunch of settings up here for that you could actually do it. Um, you know, and, and kind of trick it out. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.